From potable reuse to PFAS removal, the biggest challenges in water engineering require pilot testing to achieve technical breakthroughs and create customized solutions. That's why I wanted to talk to Jill Tedder, who spent her career working on water pilots. She talked about pushing the limits of existing technology, why piloting adds value, and what it's like to work on water pilots. Check it out. Piloting is not always convenient. It's not always close to home. Uh, you will get your hands dirty. A lot of your days will be full of unexpected surprises and you'll get messy. Um, you'll definitely need to bring a change of clothes to work. But in the long run, piloting is so beneficial for your engineering experience because you're able to see things with your own eyes and you're able to push equipment to the point of malfunctioning. So you're able to kind of play around, for lack of a better term, with the pilot itself. Jill, I know you've worked on a lot of potable reuse pilots. How does piloting help us design and optimize treatment for water reuse? And how does it help us push the limits of what's possible technically? We've done extensive potable reuse piloting at CDM Smith. Um, you know, one of the applications is, is just determining the right advanced treatment for the specific application. And commonly today that is comparing carbon-based treatment to membrane-based treatment. So comparing the full spectrum of advanced treatment. And then also we've looked at more specific applications like pathogen assessments or quantitative microbial risk assessments. How much is each, each unit process removing pathogens to get to the final target goal? Uh, in doing this, we also are able to apply some of our new analytical capabilities or novel monitoring technologies. Uh, such as qPCR. We've done a lot of work in field scale qPCR. Most of the new regulations that are coming out in the potable reuse space require either a pilot, a validation period, or a demonstration, which is typically a little bit larger than a pilot. And the public are able to actually come to a demonstration facility, walk through it, see how everything works, and they leave feeling pretty confident that their water will be safe to drink. CDM Smith and USAID have teamed up in a decades-long partnership with Jordanian stakeholders to deliver life-saving water security to one of the most water-stressed places on Earth. To learn more, head to cdmsmith.com slash Jordan. So beyond water reuse, are there other areas of water treatment for which you see piloting as being really essential? Yeah, one of the biggest areas, obviously, is PFAS. Um, with the current PFAS space in water treatment, we have done extensive piloting work. And I can't say that this is my experience necessarily myself, but we've worked on the established treatment technologies for PFAS, those being media and membranes. Um, we know that not all media products are created equally. So we've been able to pilot to compare a media product to another media product. And we've also been able to pilot to establish membrane performance in PFAS removal, which has led to actually the construction of one of the first PFAS treatment-based reverse osmosis facilities in the United States. I know sometimes you could look at piloting as being an added expense. So how do you make sure that a water pilot is delivering value? Like what's the ROI on piloting? For each pilot project, we evaluate the client drivers. Why do they need to pilot? When should piloting be done? Um, in certain instances, there's existing treatment that has not go gone through piloting, but they, the client would like to learn the answer to a specific problem without going full bore into a new full-scale treatment train or a new full-scale unit process. That being said, piloting can then be a significant cost upfront but it will save the client money in the long run because piloting operates at a smaller scale. So when we scale up these unit processes or complete treatment trains, we know the best answer for optimal design that then saves the client money in the long run. Jill, it's always a pleasure to talk with you. Thank you for being here today. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure. <laughs>